All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. You're doing brilliantly. You've got £2,000, but take a look at this next question for £4,000. What does the letter V stand for in the abbreviation DVLA? Virus. Vehicle. Visual. Victorian. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. So you're saying B. You had £2,000. You just doubled it to £4,000. You've still got all three lifelines left. 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for one million pounds. Good luck. Here it comes for 8,000 pounds. Which polite title is written after a man's name if he has no official title? Sir. Seigneur. Liege. Esquire. You're going for D. Congratulations, it's the right answer. You've just won £8,000. You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. In which U.S. state is the city of Fort Lauderdale? Texas. New York. California. Florida. Now, at this point, you could obviously walk away with £8,000 or you could risk losing £7,000 and play the next question. You want to use your phone-a-friend lifeline? OK. Let's get them on the line now, but you don't have to take the answer they give. Hello, Karen speaking. Karen, hi, this is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi, Chris. We're now getting into serious money. Your friend at this point has decided they need your help. It's worth £16,000. OK, I'm ready to go for this. Right, Karen, time to concentrate. Only one of these four answers is correct. I hope you know which one it is. Here comes the question. I'm almost definitely sure the Fort Lauderdale is in Florida. I've no idea why I know this. Maybe one of my mates went there on holiday. 
Okay, Karen, bless you. Thanks for the help. So Karen has decided it's D, but it's not up to her. What do you think? You're going for D. Well done, you've just won. £16,000. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and Ask the Audience. Now you've got £16,000. You can obviously take that money and walk away. You might as well have a look at the next question. Take your time, it's question number 10. If you do decide to play it and give me the right answer, it's worth £32,000. What is the meaning of the Spanish word huevo? Egg. Knife. Jam. Plate. So you think it's A. Oh, well done, you just won £32,000! You've got £32,000 guaranteed. It's in the bag, no one can take that away from you at this point. Now, the next question is worth £64,000. You might as well play this. You can't lose. Take your time. It's becoming very big money. Here it comes. John of Gaunt was the son of which king? Richard I. Henry II. Edward III. George IV. 